What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Punk Rock Radar. We are here again because we are gluttons for emotional punishment. So we're doing another Blink-182 video. Uh, Elliot, every time I do this, my self-esteem takes a hit. My mental psyche takes a hit. Uh, Blink-182 fans are relentless, dude. So I, I am worried, <laughs> but um, I want to listen to this album. So we're going to do our first listen reaction to it. Uh, how are you feeling, and what what do you what do you think we're gonna get from this? These bonus, these eight bonus tracks. Uh, quite an intro there. So yeah, <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, big old meanies in the Blink One Eighty Two fan base. So, but there's a lot of people who like do oh, the video. Our videos usually get you know positive likes. Just when somebody finds something they disagree with about Blink, they're very opinionated. I'll say that I right now. That. So. Um, but uh, for these bonus tracks, uh, like I said, I thought one more time, it was a lot of great nostalgia having, you know, there's a lot of build up to the album. There was the lore of it that, you know, Tom's back, you know, Mark got sick, you know, the, and everyone just finally got back together. And it's like, you know, this is how it should be. You know, the, the mom and dad made up and the whole family's back together. Um, and, and I like the album overall, but once again, I, I think we've cr criticized the production on one more time a good bit and uh some of the, the digital effects they're using on mark and tom's voice get get a little too robotic at times and really kind of takes uh any person like the personality gets a little yeah. sucked out of it but i would say for these bonus tracks i'm going to expect that these are going to be all uh, like just kind of solid tracks like i don't know i don't feel like there's going to be anything that's going to blow me away maybe there is but i feel like they're all going to be kind of like ah, that was good like that was yeah. pretty good so I'm kind of in the middle. I don't expect too much crazy from it, but I'm definitely excited to hear like, you know, these also, I don't know why these songs were like just not on the album. Like me and John are talking these deluxe editions. We're just sick of them, dude. Like just release an album with the songs on it. We don't need that. This is the you third sell time the album twice. Then <laughs> this is like the third time this album has been updated. It's like, a, it's like a video game. They're like updating it as it goes. So, so uh, very strange. Yeah, yeah. It's also so many songs are on this thing now, which is, yeah. it's, it's more of like a B sides collection at this point, more than anything. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get into like the third rendition <laughs> of one more time. Yeah, and, so. and real quick, if it's your first, first, first release, First listen reaction with us. What we're going to do is listen to each song track by track. We got eight of them here today. We're going to rank it here on our pain slash satisfaction scale and then assign it a, num a numerical rating, which is right below here on a scale of one to ten. Uh, like somebody said in the last video, we are very surface level takes. We are not blink experts. I agree with that guy who posted the other day. So this is just going to be our initial reaction to hearing the song for the first time if you disagree that's totally fine just be nice that's all we ask for don't just be nice but um the first song ellie is called no fun yeah it's, this this has this has been released i think a few of these yeah it's already before. got a million plays yeah i have not listened to any of them though i knew we were going to do this so i said i'm not even going to check a yeah. single one out so this is full blind usually Same. we check out a single or two but this is completely nothing so all right but yeah let's Let's do it. Let's get into no fun. And uh, so, John, whenever, let's see here. Just want to, cool, cool, cool. Whenever you're ready, man. All right, here we go. No fun in three, two, one. Crazy as All right, Elliot, first song, no fun. All right. What'd you think? Well, um. I would probably cut this off the album and put it on a deluxe edition about a couple of months later. So <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what they it's, did, man. <laughs> I, it's, uh, I get it. I would, <laughs> it <laughs> I just know. got it. <laughs> you just got it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, it, it's, uh, I would say a pretty boring blink track uh, with a really not great intro uh, with Tom's like weird overlaid singing that, uh, I don't think it was particularly pleasant to listen to, in my opinion. Uh, but then the they had like a kind of fun enema style rift in there. Where yeah. I was like, that's kind of cool to little little nostalgia baiting. But the song overall was, I'd say, pretty forgettable, like probably one of the weaker tracks uh, on One More Time. Definitely, it would be towards the bottom for me. There's way better songs on the uh, original cut, the 
yeah. so of this movie. The theatrical cut was a had much stronger songs <laughs> of this album. But uh, what do you think of No Fun? Oh, I guess I, I'm pretty cynical about it. I, I honestly could take relief this song. I could never hear it again. And I'd be perfectly fine if it just came on in the background. I'd also be like, yeah, sure, I could finish it. I go five point uh, five. So, yeah, that seems. I, I don't know. Like, I felt like it's the way it started. You know, I get it. I think they they like these kind of longer intros. After that, like the minute it was like one minute, I think before we got into the Enema Rift, which was nice. I think there was a really strong pre-chorus. That was probably the best part of the song. Mm -hmm. The chorus itself is, you know, kind of bland. I I just Dull. yeah, Man. this this definitely feels like a, a B side, or I guess in this case is like a, a C side or a D side. But yeah, um, I, I'm not sure where we're at at this point. So it wasn't bad. Like it was just you know very by the numbers. I I'd, I'd say cynical's fair. Um, yeah. I'd give it a let's do six point one. Okay. It's it's it's, sure. uh, it's all right. Very middle of the yeah. road. All right. So uh, we're starting off with a bang here. And uh, <laughs> I guess we'll move on to all in my head. And do you think he's going to do the little reference to uh, how everyone says uh, yed uh, off of I miss you? Do you think he's going to say all in my yed at some point as like a funny little reference to that meme or that joke everyone makes about how Tom sings. Yeah. And I, well, it depends if this is a Mark or a Tom song, but I think if it's a well, Tom it's song, then yeah, I think he's uh, going to, I think he's yeah. going to say, it, and I think it's going to be on purpose. So yes. uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like you shouldn't, <laughs> you know, just, uh, don't, don't give into it. Just let it be its own thing. You know, you can't, don't acknowledge it. I think he already has acknowledged it. He thinks it's funny, but yeah, let, let's go in and see if he says yet. I'm very curious. Is he going to say yet? All right. All in my yet in three, two, <laughs> one. I'm a tiny speck of nothing, and I'm the entire universe writ large. All right, Elliot, track two, all in my head. Yeah. I thought that was pretty good, man. I saw I, I, the bridge was really bad. I didn't like the bridge at all. The Tom. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah. I was gonna say the bridge into the final chorus was pretty bland. <laughs> it that that feels like something you would do, like to kind of figure out the the melody and tone, and then or just or like pacing, and they just left it in there. But the rest of yeah, it, I kind of liked. Yeah. No, it was a catchy song. It sounded like a like it would be a good track off California. Yeah, that's, that's true. What it reminded me of so, and he did say yet at the very end. You heard Tom in the I background. Didn't, I didn't notice yet. that. I'm pretty positive he did say yet. So don't know how I feel about that, but it won't affect my rating at all. Um, <laughs> I thought this was a decent pop punk track. I'm not gonna say it's like a a blow me away. Uh, Blink One Eight Two song. I thought the chorus was pretty catchy. Like I said, that bridge where he's saying all in my head over and over and then it goes into the final it it, it does it feels like a placeholder bridge yes. where you'd be like okay we're just going to repeat this but then we're going to think of something cooler to put in there so i agree with you there but but overall it's pretty decent uh nothing amazing but it was a good a good track i'll go 6.9 on this one very appropriate Let's... given the uh, lyrical content <laughs> um but yeah, I guess like when you write like what are we up to now? Like thirty songs? You you don't have time to go back and finish all the bridges, so I understand that. Yeah. Um I would be I'm pretty enthused. Like I, I thought the chorus was really catchy. Mm hmm It's it, I mean, I feel like the theme of this is a lot of these are gonna feel incomplete. Uh, which is why here they are, like where wherever we are, like a a, a year or so after this came out. I d I don't even remember. But Yeah. I could see this being the standout. So I'll go like I would listen to that again. So I would give it a seven point seven. OK, I, I kind of like yeah, it. This, it could be a good on a playlist. So yeah. I didn't mind it. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll go to the next one, which is can't go back. So uh, whenever you're ready, John, we'll hop into this next track here. All right, here we go. Can't go back. Two minutes and 44 seconds. We kick it off in three, two, one. All right. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, about as lifeless as the first song, I would say. It was very bland. Uh, not particularly excited about this one. Uh, I don't know if I, I might like it more than No Fun, because I, I don't know. I really was felt like No Fun was super generic, mm-hmm. but um, barely, if, it, if that is the case. I'll go 5.6 on this one. Uh, I just don't think there was really any. It's like an interlude to a real song. So. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at, dude. I I felt like that melody was really good, but I just I just felt like it didn't. They it just didn't, didn't do enough. Yeah. It never built up to anything. Like it was fine when it started. I was into it, and I was like, we need to build up to something, do something a little different, have a heavy part at the end, or where Mark and Tom are both singing, or the lyrics change, or something changes. And it was it's it's kind of like. It's like a waiting room song almost at this point. Like we're just kind of waiting through this whole thing. I wasn't a fan of it, but I mean, th- I'm not saying that the melody was was bad or anything. I just think it's a bit boring. So, man, I don't know. I I kind of liked it, and, and I shouldn't. Okay, and it's not usually what I do like, but like it, it felt like untitled to me. Definitely, definitely. Um, what did I give the last one? Seven seven, you, you gave seven seven to all in my head. Yeah, I like the drums and the driving bass, and it was interesting. I wish, like you said, I wish that maybe it flows into the next song, and that's the payoff. But every other yeah, weekend, yeah. It, it doesn't feel the just the title doesn't feel like that would be the case. Um, ugh, I don't know. I did like it though. I was surprised. I would say I, I don't. I don't mind it. Uh, I just feel like it felt like once again a little incomplete where I feel like I kind of wanted him to like just do something a little more at the end there. But this I get is, it. I mean, the, dr- the drums sound good. Travis's drum. You liked it more than all in my I, head. I, I feel like the first two were kind of like by the numbers and this one kind of sure, brought sure. something different. Like, OK, that's that's where I'm at. Like, I, I could I would want to listen to this song again and see if I picked up on anything. But. I don't know if I'm like getting a little like trigger shy, you know, because of last time. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. This is a total upset, an unexpected turn of events. I did I'm like it. I, I did like it. I I thought the melody yeah. was was really good, but yeah. All I'm, right, I'm, all right. I don't know. I mean, uh, Elliot and I were talking. This has been that like uh, I moved this week, and in my new apartment, there's like an inch between the door and uh, like the floor. So my cat every morning at three thirty is sliding her paw in and pulling the door, bump, bump, bump. So I am very little sleep, and then our fire alarm—they've been testing it, and it sounds like freaking Chernobyl when it when it goes off. So like, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a little like out of sorts today. So this could change, but I, I've, right now, like, I was kind of feeling it. it I'm feeling it. It kind of. Go go yeah. with your gut always, man. Don't, gut. Question, I liked it. don't question your gut, dude. I would never question your gut. So. I liked it. Yeah, let's just do it. Can't go back. Uh, yeah. Seven, eight. So, I mean, some people might question your gut because you like circus peanuts, but I, I wouldn't. Yes, I think and candy corn. Think, and candy corn. And licorice. Oh, candy. All right, I'm not a fan <laughs> of candy corn, but I like black licorice and I like circus peanuts, so candy corn's a step too far. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I guess the, it feels like you can't go back is going into every other weekend. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to see how this one goes. So, all right, oh, let's find out. It's the exact ready, same length. This is a, the last three songs, 242 and then 244, 244, which is weird. Um, well, let's play it. This is every other weekend in three, two, one. All right, man. <laughs> Why well, you go for? I, I feel like the lack of sleep is affecting me, so I don't. I I'll, let, why don't you go first, and we'll see where we hit. Oh no, it's fine. I, I like this song. Yeah. Okay. Me it's too. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, it's really it's catchy. Song. It's really. Catchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's really catchy. This is the best one so far. Yeah. Uh, I feel like. I, also, I love the acoustic breakdown at the. I'm a sucker for like pop punk song with acoustic uh, kind of bridges before they hit the chorus again. And uh, I, I always like when Tom does it. I love like, um, oh, my gosh, what's it called? Uh, what went wrong? Like, I, I love that Blink-182 B-side. 
So I love Tom when he has that. And I think that was really fun. And it was just a vibe. And uh, honestly, I was expecting you not to like it as much because I know you didn't like Blink Wave. And I feel like this kind of had a similar mid-tempo flow to it or this kind of chill, relaxed kind of Blink-182 song. But do um, you think this is much better than Blink Wave? Dude, the, the thing is, like, and that's that's kind of, like, the issue with these first listens. It all depends on your mindset, right? Like, right here, right now. Like, even, like, my favorite albums. There's times, like, I don't want to listen. There's times I'll skip a couple of songs. But, like, sure, sure, definitely. It's, it's all about, like, when you're when you're listening and right like i told you music guys, is like, contextual yeah it, it, and like this has been a very hectic week so like i've been listening to more like kind of chill stuff kind of getting a good headspace and this was like catch super catchy like that chorus is going yeah. going to be stuck in my head it, it's the best chorus i really yeah. like that one i like the the, the kind of mellow vibe this one's going i give this one my highest score so far i think it's good i think i'll go where you went with the, all of my head i'll go 7.7 7 on the, i'll go 7.6 so we'll take we'll take point one away because i felt i did feel like we could have added like a little bit more in there to make it a better song, yeah. definitely. So I, a little bit of all these songs feel like there's like they kind of went with first draft, but the first draft of this one worked pretty well. So, oh man, I'm I'm like feel like I'm in the same kind of neighborhood for all these. No pun intended. As like a like C plus, right? This that's a, these seventies like seven point six, seven point seven. It's like a C plus. C plus um, B minus, sure. I'm yeah. kind of living in that space. Like it, it's it's vanilla, right? It's it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's like a fun end of summer song. Like I feel like it's. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I'm gonna go right with you at another seven six. I, if that feels right. Uh, yeah, I like the last one a little bit better melodically. It, it did a little more for me, but I liked it. I liked this a lot. It was. It's definitely gonna get stuck in my head. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. So. But I guess we'll move on from every other weekend to everyone, everywhere, all at once. Have you seen that movie yet, John? So, no, I have not. <laughs> no, I haven't. It's okay. A little overrated. I, I, I know it's a beloved film, but uh, but yeah, let's. Um, main actress did an amazing performance, though. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get into every everyone everywhere. All whenever right. you're ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, uh, they're really leaning into the Blink is writing AI Blink songs now after everybody said that on the last record. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this song's a mess, dude. Yeah. Uh, all over the place. It really feels like it's lacking structure. It really needed, like, another coat of paint, and, like, we need, like, a second draft on some of these bridges and how they connect and stuff like that. I, I didn't mind the chorus. I kind of yes. liked it. Same. I, I and, and especially at the end, I thought it was really good, like, how they ended it. So I think the strongest part was the chorus. But mm -hmm. a lot of other stuff felt kind of random and disjointed. Uh, though I, I, I will say, I, I think I still like it more than No Fun and uh, Can't Go Back. Uh, definitely having, like, the untitled riff there with the chorus and everything like that. Um a little bit of neighborhoods, maybe. Um, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go six on this one. So I think there's potential, but ah, I don't know. Do do five point eight. <laughs> it's 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 a little too messy for me to revisit. Like it really needed to be worked on a little more. But I liked elements of it. Yeah, so. I really like the chorus. Like the I'm chorus usually, is really good. I'm usually a Mark guy, but like Tom. I don't know what Tom carried this. Yet. It's like, yeah. like, why don't we write a song with a really good chorus, but let's have the verses be like a robot is singing them. Like, <laughs> dude, like the vocals were robotic enough on part one. Like, and then they just really leaned into it here. I, I don't know. I, I don't really want to listen to robots sing. It just does not, not doesn't appeal to me. Yeah, I wish this chorus is on a different song yeah. or they did something different with the verses. Definitely the chorus. Uh, great. The ending of this song was great, but uh, all the little uh, connecting pieces were, were just disjointed yeah, weird. very messy yeah with all that said like i didn't dislike it again i feel like i'm still i haven't gone into the boring area yet i would I'd definitely say cynical like this is yeah i'm not gonna like seek this out um yeah 
I'd give it, like, I feel like you're, I don't remember what I gave No Fun, but I, I'd say it's right around that same area. I think you gave it a 6.1 or 6.2. Yeah, okay. I was, I was going to say 6.1 on this one, too. Yeah. So, awesome. yeah, it's all right. I don't, I mean, this is, I mean, this is better than I had expected it. I, I thought this, these were going to be, like, throwaway, um, unfinished songs. And it, it turns out they're, they're, like, a, a they, little above <laughs> mediocre <laughs> unfinished songs <laughs> yeah they're just like okay unfinished songs yeah. so which is fine uh, so i, I yeah. mean every other weekend uh i would say that in all of my head would definitely like make playlist yeah. so far so it's pretty good so far yeah so and in the songs that i didn't like were just kind of boring to me like i didn't like dislike them it's not like i was like man this fucking sucks or wanted to skip it so um so yeah let's go ahead uh if you never left track six whenever well, I- you're ready man all right, hold on real fast. One of these last three, I think, is going to be a ballad. If you had a guess, which one? The final track, Take Me In. Uh, it's the longest. I, I, huh? It's, it's the, the longest, longest one? Yeah. Okay, it's going to be a ballad then. Yeah. So we'll see. I might. I think, I think, I, one, I think this might be a slower song. I think One Night Stand's going to be a banger. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like it is. All right, so. well... Let's get into this one. It's called If You Never Left. It's two minutes and 58 seconds. And we're going to kick it off right now in three, two, one. If you never left, would you still love me? All right, Elliot. Uh, if you... Dude... I actually like this song quite a bit, man. I think this is, I'm surprised. Like, I think this is better than a lot of part one. Uh, what are you thinking? If it was touched up, it, it needs a little touch up. All these songs do, but I feel like this one has uh, probably the most potential to be like, yeah, like a big hit type song or had like a really good chorus. Like I could see this being like a radio single. Um, but as it is, I still felt it was a little bland at times, but I think this one has like the most, it's not my favorite, but I think it has the most potential to be like a big single. So I think I still like every other weekend, uh, the most here, but I thought it was, it was pretty good. So I, I'd give it this one, like probably like a solid seven or yeah, solid seven's fine. Yeah. All right. I could be wrong. I could be completely off base here, you do but it. I am somewhat I, I have a feeling that the chords in this and the chorus are the same as what's my age again. I, I think, you know, on first listen, I don't have my guitar in my mm. hand. I, the progression sounded very similar. I could be wrong. Um, and I like Mark's bridge was like a little callback to feeling this where you kind of did the same thing where it drops out. Yeah. And the uh, drums sounded really good. Yeah. Like I, I don't remember him doing that drum tone randomly on part one. So I really, I, I, I can't remember it's it's been like a little while since I listened to it. Do you remember? Because usually I just remember kind of like the standard Travis drumming, not that kind of like really like uh, snappy uh, yeah. style he was doing there. That's a good point. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, um, I like it. I like it. I wish it, I, if if it was in part one, I can't remember it. And I wish they did it more because it's like a really cool way to have a bridge. So I think that was good. Yeah, definitely. I think this is my favorite one so far. I I really like that. The chorus was so simple. Like it's just your basic. It's, it's a good chorus. Four chord. Like this, to to me a little bit, this almost feels like it could be like a hit on like the a yeah. plus forty four record. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Mark, like that chorus felt really plus forty four to me. Uh, but like a one of the good songs, like one of the really good songs on there. So eight point one, go for it, man. Hell yeah. I I I like legitimately like this song so. It's a good course. It's very uh, catchy. Like I said, gonna, this yeah. one, I feel like I feel like this one, like if they touched up a little bit and put it on part one, it could be like one of the best singles, you know? So, yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Um, we've got two songs left. Ah, is this going to be the ballad? There's got to be one. What? But I think you're right. right. I think Take Me In is probably. But I this... think Take Me In has to be. And I think uh, I'm curious what One Night Stand's going to be. Yeah. So the last two are, you're they're ready. both long. This one's three thirty five. Take me in is three thirty nine. Oh, it? So mm. it's got potential, but we'll, we'll see. We're gonna kick it off now. One night stand in three, two, one. One 
night stand. <gasps> All right, man. That, that's the song. That's the type of song I expected on this. I'll be honest. Yeah. That was uh, ass. Yeah. That was ass. Yeah, that was the worst song so yeah. far. Um, man, just like <laughs> the the tra- the first the chorus was not good. Uh, the chorus this is probably the worst chorus yeah. on here so far. Uh, the transition to the chorus was like really weird it just like jolted into it and then it was just like uh, over with and you're like oh I, I don't even remember <laughs> like the, the chorus it was not a very memorable chorus uh it was way too long for no reason um there wasn't any like cool b- build up or breakdown or any cool bridge transition or any type of like long droning part that went into like a chorus and the chorus is weak so even if we built up to yeah. the chorus it doesn't matter the chorus sucks uh worst song i would never listen to this one i this was the first one i was like i'd, I'd actually skip yes. i'd skip this one so i'm going with boring this is a boring song uh, it's very bland uh, i'm going 4.5 so uh not like <laughs> like like offensive or anything like that it's just uh very dull very yeah. dull to the point where i and it's long it's dull and long so it, yeah this feels like a neighborhood's b-side dude um, so I'm guessing that the angry Blink fans are going to love this one. No, 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 no. Neighborhoods was much better. Than- <laughs> I, I, this reminds me of Neighborhoods. But, uh, it had, neighborhoods at least had energy behind it. So it seemed like Tom cared. This one's like phoning it in like crazy. But sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, this sounds like Travis went to the studio, laid down these drums, and they just like kind of haphazardly sung over it. And it was like, oh, yeah, like it's yeah, it sucks. He's um, like, all right, we'll put it on the deluxe edition. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I do it every, I do it every one. This, I will never listen to this again. I thought this, this song sucked. So, bad. I mean, for yeah, I, I give this like a one point seven. Let's let's bring this back to normal. This is just a bad song. <laughs> let's bring this back to normal. Yeah. John just jolting all the way down <laughs> to almost a zero. <laughs> I really, I mean, it just sucks that the the longest song so far is the worst one. It's like, ooh, it's yeah, like, it's, ooh, yeah. <laughs> there's like no in between with John, by the way, just so yeah. you know. So either it's like over a five or it's like one. <laughs> John doesn't like to play with like the three fours or uh, too much. <laughs> I, I got to leave room for the ones that I'm like, eh, like this one I really just disliked. So that's true. I, mean, I could probably even go a little lower, but I will. not I'll keep it as is. So, I mean, it's, it's below a five. That means I'm going to skip it. Yeah. So. Um, below a five it honestly really doesn't matter what the rating is it's below a five you're gonna skip it so <laughs> i mean this this feels like a track 26 so it's a little bit <laughs> it's like a track 26 uh but yeah look, uh, let's get into the last song take me here. in dude take me in the longest song this has to be the ballad but let's find out uh in three two one Damn, that feels like it leads into part three, man. I think there's gonna I be. Know, I, know. I think there's gonna be more. We're gonna. <laughs> it might be more. I hope there's. Hope this is like a never-ending, updated <laughs> album. Like every year, they just drop more tracks from yeah. the, the one more. The title time. is just completely ironic. That's what it's intended yeah, that, for. No, that's not thinking here. It's like the third <laughs> rendition of updating it. So I'm like, <laughs> let's, let's keep it going. Um. Uh, to me, honestly, this felt like the most complete song. Yeah. Like I felt like, yeah. And also that chorus is I, I think it's the best one so far. I really love that chorus. It's already stuck in my head. It's like, take me anywhere. I'm so down. I don't know. I really liked it. It sounded like a a band called Weatherbox, their album American Art. He has like choruses that sound like that. His is his vocals are a little stranger, but uh uh, really cool so if, if you enjoyed take me and check out like the clearing by Weatherbox. it's a very cool sounding song as well but i really like this one uh I, I i think it's pretty good like this is definitely in the enthused area for me also like an ending too to yeah. all these tracks it felt like the most complete i thought i had the best chorus i thought uh mark's part verse was a little bit bland but we just kind of repeated what tom did but i like the build up i like the end I like the like drum and bass style drumming in the chorus. It made it really cool. Uh, I'll go seven 
I'll go seven point five on this one. So, okay. What do you think? It feels like a grower for me. Yeah. Um, for me, like it's it's hard for me to connect, really connect with a ballady song the first time. Again, it's all like you said before, contextual. Yeah. Um, I did like it though. I I did I did find it very catchy. Uh, in the beginning, I couldn't even tell if it was Tom or Mark. I they, it seemed- I, could, I couldn't either. The uh, honestly, I can't remember. Worthy of uh, vocal effects, uh, was kind of like the pitch correct is is strong as it is on this. Uh, part two. I feel like it wasn't. Maybe it was. I know it was on some songs, but yeah, it feels I think it very was, aggressive yeah. sometimes. But this, like, so. there's yeah, that that intro part and some of the verses. I don't even know who's like. It, I'd be like, oh, this is Mark, and then like it sounds like maybe they're both singing it though. I mean, oh, towards the end, I realized it was Tom singing. I was like, oh, I thought this was Mark. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah I agree. With you. I agree with you. Yeah, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a quality song. I, I would say like. I mean, again, it's not really my jam. I, I was pretty generous with, I think, Can't Go Back. So, um, it's almost four it's minutes, good. too. But I did like it. So, I'll go, let's go 7.3. All right. All I think right. it's a grower. I think it's. I think I need a couple mm-hmm. more listens to, it's, it's sure, tough sure. to take in a four-minute song in one shot, so... Um, so. Yeah, let's, oh, Ellie, overall, we got to give our overall overall Breaking. score i mean i felt like this was like it is what it is like these are a bunch of leftover tracks that didn't make the album for the most part uh, a lot of them felt unfinished a lot of them were boring one of them was a immediate skip which was one night stand and out of eight tracks here i would say i liked three songs out of this so and there was a few okay songs but i think really i only like three tracks in total i think this it's fine i'll give it like a I don't know, like a six. I'll just give it a six. I think that's fair. So. Oh, I don't remember what I gave the other one. I think I did give it a six. I think I gave part one a six. So this doesn't have the highs or the lows of one more time, right? This is, this is like you said, these are kind of uh, leftovers. Yeah, immediate. Right. Yeah, they're leftovers. They're they're decent songs, but they're I mean, except for like I don't know. There's like two I really didn't like. So yeah, there's no like turpentine or bad news or terrified. On yeah, this. or even one more time. I thought you know was was better than most of these tracks. So I really like that one. Even uh, uh, what was it? Uh, I forget what it's called now. <laughs> the one with the double bass, the crazy double bass oh, on the chord. Oh yeah, yeah. More than you know, more than you know. Yeah. That's so, true. Uh, even I, that was better. I thought yeah. like, it's so much more digestible, though. It's just eight songs, though. It's like, I feel like that works in its favor here. It works in its favor, but I guess the intended way to listen to this is uh, all of them. Oh. <laughs> all 27, which I couldn't do, but this, I, I, I'm treating this more like an EP. Yes. Like me this too. is like a, yeah, so. Yeah, dude, this this uh, one more time is up to like an hour and twenty minutes. It's it's getting to be like a Smashing Pumpkins record. Yeah, um, this is gonna become one of the longest pop punk records in <laughs> all of history soon enough. Just wait for part three. <laughs> um, so where we, Travis was like, oh, I forgot to add in like my drum interludes. <laughs> I overall like. I, I did kind of like this. Like, it's definitely not, like, a bad album, especially as an EP. Like, I feel like I got more bang out of, like, most EPs. So, um, as as an EP, which is, you know, graded much more favorably than an, an album, I would say this is, like, probably, like, in my top three or four EPs of the year, which is, you know, it is what it is. Usually you're going to get four or five songs. And I, even if, even if there's like three or four standouts on here, like that's still pretty solid. I'd give this a seven, seven. I think that's like, I think that's like right around where I was hovering for the bulk of this other than one night stand. (laughs) Other than the 1.2 or whatever (laughs) you gave that song. (laughs) I will say this as an EP, it's solid. 
Um, but this makes the album worse by adding this to it. And so like the album would go down in quality by just tacking on a bunch of songs just to just to elongate it. Like if you're actually listening, this is a full album. I feel like this this it's weird that this is the ending of it. So yeah. it's definitely I understand it's a deluxe edition, but you know, I, I like having like albums be listened to in like chronological order and like some sort of you know, rhyme or reason to it. And this feels like an EP has been tacked onto the end of it. So I think it lowers the quality of one more time if this is how you're listening to it. Mm-hmm. But as uh, its own set of songs, I think it's fine. So, yeah, I just like I feel like a lot of these songs don't have character to them. Definitely. Yeah. Um, we're like, you know, like Dude Ranch, Enema. Take off your pants and jacket. Untitled neighborhoods, they, not neighborhoods, but um, <laughs> they they all. I think, has, I think it has a personality. Neighborhoods definitely has a personality. You just don't like this personality. <laughs> yeah, these these kind of. I mean, it, it just does. It doesn't feel like Blink to me anymore. Like it, it just feels. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't think they're bad songs, but like to me, like this, Blink. This is produced the produced by Travis Barker band. Yeah. So yeah. It it just yeah. It's like if Blink was molded into one of Travis's other well other bands, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, with, yeah. with that said, I found a handful of the songs enjoyable. I, th- I think it's a fine end of summer album. So let's we'll do seven seven. I felt like I was too harsh on the album, so I, I am um I am kind trying of, to make up it. You're yeah, definitely I, too harsh on the album. I'm hedging original. a little bit here. Like yeah, truthfully. Yeah. Um, so hopefully hopefully if you guys are watching, you don't kill us. You know, we're just two regular people listening to these these songs. We're not industry critics or anything. This is just off the cuff first listen stuff. So keep that in mind. Yeah. But if, if you did like the video, make sure and leave a thumbs up. It helps other people find the channel. It helps us grow as a channel and do more videos for you guys. Uh, if you really liked it, there's a merch link down below to our limited run store. There's lots of cool stuff there. A lot of skate punk, pop punk albums, uh, punk rock radar merch, all that kind of stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah, by all means, if you feel generous today, then hit the link down below. But, uh, Elliot, what else we got going on we can share before we get out of here? Uh, nothing much. There's a few other things that are coming down the pipeline. Obviously, we're going to react to the Disney pop punk album. We got to do it. So that is one that we're going to do. It'll be a good time. And obviously we got best of worst in Green Day that will will be out as well. Uh, best and worst lag wagon will probably be out Monday. So we're, we're continuing that series. It seems to be very popular. Uh, we're going to do it. We got Goldfinger tier list coming. So lots of stuff in the pipeline. And we're going to get down and, and get you guys content. And thank you anybody who subscribes and takes the time to watch us, especially if you're at this point right now. Yeah. So that's pretty impressive. And if you're at this point right now, you probably like us. So that's what's <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, thanks again for watching. We'll see you all next time. Peace out.